Hi and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to export SQL table results using a batch file. What is a batch file? It consists of a series of commands to be executed by the command line interpreter that is stored in a plain text file. It is simply a notepad, notepad file where you write some scripts and then you save that notepad file using .bat extension and we call that file as a batch file. Let me show you one example batch file. So here I have one batch file. You can see the text inside this batch file. I have written some text. So when I run this batch file, a file gets generated. See, CSV file is generated here. So in this video, we are going to see how this can be done. So before we proceed into the video, if you have visited my channel for the first time, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of the upcoming videos. I have also made two other videos to export and import data from SQL Server to Excel or from Excel to SQL Server. I will leave link in the description. You can watch it from there. Let us proceed in our, into our demo. Here I have a server with name A103 and a database. Inside this database, I have a table, two tables, customer and report. My requirement is without doing, doing anything or without writing any commands here in the SSMS, I want to export this table records. So if I select the table records of the customer table, I have total 10 records. So all these 10 records has to be exported to text file or a CSV file. For that we make use of a batch file. So using this batch file, any person who has no prior knowledge of SQL Server can export the table results. Let's see how do we create that batch file. So here there is a batch file which is already created. Let me take a notepad, open notepad. Here, write SQL CMD. This is the command for SQL Server, and uh, you want to connect to the server. Mention hyphen s and then give the server name. My server name is A103, and then in this server, which database you want to connect? Hyphen D, then mention the database name then how you want to connect to your SQL Server whether you want to use Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication if you want to go with Windows authentication give hyphen E otherwise if you have a SQL Server login mention hyphen U and then your username and then hyphen P the password of your username ok so here I am going with windows authentication only so I have to give hyphen e and then write the query of your SQL table that should be in double quotes my query is select star from one of the table customer ok and then what is your separator hyphen s is a separator or a delimiter in double quotes mention your separator or delimiter and then where you want to store the output file hyphen o and then in double quotes give the path of your output file give the folder name and the file name so this is how you have to give in the batch file and then save this batch file save as customer dot bat 
save. So now we have successfully created a batch file with your SQL script. Let me show you the batch file. So here is your batch file. You can see the type is Windows batch file. Now you have to just run this batch file and the file gets exported to CSV. Let me show you. I will copy this file into another location. I have copied here. So let me run this batch file. Yes, I want to run. So you can see the output file is stored in this location CA103 with customer.csv. This is my location, and you can see this is the CSV file, and you can see the results. You can open this using Excel sheet also. Let me open. And you can see the table results are here. With just a single click, we have exported SQL table records. See, those are the 10 records. You can verify. If here okay and here you can add filter also in your windows batch file let me show you that also go to your windows batch file edit this here right select star from customer where gender is equal to female I have added a filter here and save it file save now run this batch file let me change the file name also because we already have a file with customer customer underscore new save the file now run the batch file completed now go to your destination folder and you can see the records here you have only female records you can open this in your excel sheet also see you have only female records. So in this way we can export our table records using a batch file. I hope you have understood the video. I will share this windows batch file I will share this windows batch file script in the description. You can take it from there or else you can have this slide also. SQLCMD is a command hyphen s is a server name a103 in my case hyphen d is a database and hyphen e is a trusted connection in case if you are using a sql authentication hyphen u username and p password and hyphen q write your query in quotes your sql query you can also use appropriate filters to segregate or to filter your data when you export and then hyphen s is a column separator in my case i have used comma you can use any other else as per your requirement and hyphen o is the output where your file will be saved okay okay hope this helps if you like the video please hit like button do share and subscribe my channel for more videos That's all in this video. Thanks for watching the video.
प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोज़